I believe uh, deep down in my soul that one of the really great things about Texas A&M Commerce and East Texas at the time was it wasn't always focused on the content, but the ability to learn the content. And uh, one of the things I took with me into my education career was we got to teach kids how to learn as well as what to learn. It was also not about preparing you, but also getting you a position. And I think that's uh, somewhat rare in universities is that then we'll get you your degree, but then you're on your own. And I can remember he says, we're going to get you a degree and we're going to get you working somewhere. And so their connections or relationships to the school districts who really knew that they put out a good product, uh, well, it turned out okay for me. I came to CFB as an English teacher and a coach and then went into administration. I also have my mid-management and my master's in administration from East Texas State, Texas A&M Commerce. So I felt like I had a really good grasp of not only the academic side, the education side, but also the management side, the operations side. And so then what better way to prepare you for the superintendent job is to really have that deep uh, experience level in all the aspects of running a school district. Your personality and who you are is often developed by your undergraduate school and the people that you are around. And what I can remember, uh, I think, about Texas A&M Commerce, East Texas at the time, is that I really did love the academic side of it, the, the English side of it, and I still feel like my love of, of reading came from that. But also I think I contribute my own health and wellness today from being in the health and physical education side of it because the two things that I think helped me in my career was the, the training that I received, but also the fact that you, you have to be a learner, but you also have to take care of yourself, right? And so now, 40 years later, you know, I still work out, I still exercise, I still believe in the physical side of leadership, physical education side of leadership, is that we can't be our best person unless we are truly mentally and physically uh, in good shape, okay? So uh, I hope you'll come back in 40 years, we'll do another interview, maybe I'll look the same.